It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So let's see here. Yesterday, I finally had a chance to take a look at the dishwasher. I looked at it. I took all the, tr the tray out, and I look on the bottom of the dishwasher, and there's this trap at the bottom that keeps stuff from getting into the pipes, or I don't know. And it's completely covered in two years of food and other things. And I said, that's disgusting. And so I emptied out most of it and put it in the garbage and ran the dishwasher again. And I could hear the water running, so that was a good sign. But when I opened up the dishwasher after it was done, everything looked the same. The dishes weren't clean. So I don't know enough about how dishwashers work, but this guy I used to work with, a friend of mine, we still get lunch from time to time. His dad fixes these things. So I'm like, bring them on. So one of the worst verbs in Spanish is arreglar. It's the verb to fix. And I had trouble rolling R's, and I had trouble with the R clusters, especially PR, but GR isn't so good either. Like flu is gripe, you know, so it's hard for me to say that. The, the, but those flow better than the PR, you know, and I want to test something after, you know, probar. PR is very hard, but to uh, to fix is uh, arreglar, and that's that's hard. That's actually a GL, isn't it? Maybe it's arreglar. See, I'm visiting my grandma this weekend, and I'm already getting my R's and L's mixed up. But uh, I said to my friend, arreglalo, because that's fix it, except I just hate the R's, you know? If you, there's... Not everyone can pronounce everything right. Like, there's this German gal that I work with, and uh, every now and then, she adds an or into words. Like, that's what I thought. And it must have something to do with how German is, right? So, otherwise, her English is really good, but every now and then, there's that one word that makes you go, huh? Are you Canadian? So, for me, it's words with double R's and PR's and GR's. Arreglalo. Ugh, not very good. I sound like Peggy Hill. So at any rate, we'll see what he has to say, assuming he can come out today. He better, because visiting my grandparents this weekend, and I don't want to come home to a sink full of dishes. Oh, how often do you hear that? But uh, we'll feed the cat and get out of town, and that'll be the end of that. So there you go. Uh, it's going to be the warmest it's been all year. Tomorrow we're going to hit 70 for the first time ever, but I won't be here to enjoy it. But Napa should be nice, too. So, whatever. I was offered tickets to the Sharks game last night, but I had to work. And also my girlfriend was making cookies for my grandpa and grandma. So we did not go, and it was just as well as the Sharks lost 5-2. to two. It was 4 to nothing, and then they got one, and then they gave up a goal, and they got another one. And so here's the thing. It's not that they suddenly suck. Some of the goals that they get, they've given up, have been lucky bounces and somewhat inattention. But it's the psychological effect of these goals, right? Like, the team that I play hockey on is last in the league in scoring. We average less than three goals a game. We're the only team in the league that can't even average three goals a game. And we know this. And so if we give up a goal or two, it's really hard to say, well, let's just get another goal. And so... Uh, you have to overcome that, and it's not always easy, especially when your role on the team is not one as a scorer, although I have scored three goals in the last three weeks. So, you just, uh, you can't think about what your team has done in the past. Every time you're in their zone, you have a chance to score, and you just have to try to score that particular trip into the zone, and not worry about the rejection that often happens. Remember, goalies save 90% of the shots they face. That means that 10% of the shots you take go in. So that's not very many, so you can't let it get to you. And the Sharks are professionals. Will they handle it? I don't know. In the meantime, maybe the Florida Panthers will make the playoffs and the Sharks won't. And how often how awesome would that be, huh? Panthers aren't playing too bad right now. Gotta say. Well, that's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.